students today we have to start with conditions necessary for chemical reaction so let's start with this topic so first condition necessary for the reaction is close contact close contact it means when reactants will come close to each other the reaction will occur for example sodium when it is in contact with water it will form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen so is this reaction a balanced one yes one sodium here one sodium here on the reactant and product side one oxygen on the reactant side one oxygen on the product side okay two hydrogen on the reactant side and three hydrogen on the product side so that is why you need to balance this and to balance this what we will do we will make 2 h2o over here so 2 into 2 4 hydrogen 2 hydrogen here 1 hydrogen here we can add 2 over here now is it balance 2 sodium 2 sodium 4 hydrogen so 2 plus 2 4 hydrogen okay one oxygen uh, two oxygen here also two oxygen so this reaction is balanced now so when sodium is kept in the close contact to water it will react and it will form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas is released okay now the another condition necessary for the reaction to occur is solution form it means when the two substances are simply kept sometimes they don't react for example sodium chloride and silver nitrate solution reacts to each other when they are in the solution form so when sodium chloride sodium chloride solution it means it is dissolved in water so aqueous solution plus silver nitrate also in the form of aqueous solution aqueous solution it means dissolved in water aqua word is used for water so it will form silver chloride that is nacl uh, sorry agcl silver chloride is agcl and silver nitrate uh, sodium nitrate nano3 so if they are not in the aqueous solution form they will not react but when they are in the aqueous solution form and both these solution will be brought together they will react and they will form these compounds so example of it is when silver nitrate aqueous solution combines with sodium chloride's aqueous solution it will react and it will form silver chloride silver nitrate plus sodium chloride listen students you will write down the full form i am writing only the short it forms silver chloride and sodium nitrate here the silver chloride is forming a white colored precipitate then what is precipitate insoluble solution it means not a clear solution is known as precipitate or when a salt is formed which is not soluble in water then such substance is known as precipitate so if you have the precipitate in the test tube you will not be able to see across the test tube it means clear solution will not be formed so what will be the color of the solution over here that is white color so it is known as white colored precipitate so silver chloride will be forming the white color precipitate now the next factor or condition essential for reaction to occur is heat so iron combines with sulfur or reacts with sulfur when it is heated to form iron sulfide okay if this heat is not provided this reaction will not occur 
so certain reactants needs to be heated to react with each other or to go undergo for a chemical change now the other condition required for chemical reaction to occur is light and very common example of it you already know that is photosynthesis so photosynthesis occurs in the presence of light photosynthesis is a type of chemical reaction in which carbon dioxide reacts with water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight so it forms glucose that is c6h12o6 and oxygen is released so this chemical reaction will require sunlight to occur so that is why there are certain chemical reaction which will occur in the presence of light and last requirement for the chemical reaction to occur certain times that is catalyst and what is a catalyst a catalyst is a chemical substance their presence will either increase the rate of reaction or decrease the rate of reaction but they will not take part in the reaction okay so their presence will either speed up the rate of reaction or slow down the rate of reaction but they don't get involved in the chemical reaction so example of it is potassium chlorate in the presence of catalyst that is mno2 manganese dioxide it forms potassium chloride and oxygen is released so here manganese dioxide is acting as a catalyst in the decomposition of potassium chlorate into potassium chloride and oxygen so in the absence of this catalyst a very high amount of heat will be required but in the presence of this catalyst in the less amount of heat only the reaction will occur so this is all for today next class we will be starting with the characteristics of chemical reaction thank you everyone